Well, 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 good morning everybody. This is Track Rider Trucking, Curtis speaking here. Uh, just wanted to give you all an update. Hold on a minute, I gotta get these glasses off. I hope everybody had a wonderful couple of days since I've talked last, I believe. Uh, we got that load delivered up in Massachusetts. Uh, pretty simple load. It wasn't too difficult. A little bit of tight backing, but uh, we got her in there anyway. But anyway, uh, was even given a proposed load wanting to send me up into Maine, but I didn't accept the load. They wanted me to drive south to Pennsylvania, then take the load all the way up into Maine. And I knew the weather was going to get pretty bad up that way, so I thought, no, I don't want to end up getting stranded up in Maine. So, not that I didn't want to do the load. The load was decent loaded, just that I didn't want it. So, I went ahead and uh, took a different load down here. I had to dead head about 310 miles and take a load over to Fredericksburg, Virginia. I'm, uh, oh, about 40 miles from my old one to pick up this morning and have it delivered this afternoon at uh, 3 o'clock. Um, I made it official yesterday with my fleet manager. Uh, I will be turning in my truck, uh, terminating my lease to my truck on the 13th of January. Uh, I informed him of the situation between what my 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 wife's health conditions and also uh, lack of revenue. Uh, everybody knows that last week I was in the hole and this week I was in the hole, so that's back-to-back -back weeks that I didn't make a dime. In fact, I have to pay them. So it's pretty much a good solid idea that I'm not going to do this much longer. I said, you know, I can't live like this. Me and my family, we you know, it just doesn't work out for us. I'm happy for whoever it does work for out, but it doesn't work for me. So anyway, uh, looks like we'll uh, take her back in on the 13th and uh, get rid of her and move on to the new adventure. So just to get you guys up to date on that. So it is official. I also call success leasing and confirm the procedures on what I have to do. Doesn't seem too difficult. I talked a while. Uh, no hit the truck and transportation. He told me the same when he turned his end to upgrade to a new truck. He explained, kind of told me what, what to expect, and it's basically what they said too. So they already know that I'm going to be bringing it in and everything. So it's the way it is, guys. I mean, I've tried everything. I've tried, I've made an effort, and you know, don't get me wrong, I'll never. I'll never regret what I did. I mean, this has been an exciting venture. Uh, it's been fun, but uh, I just can't live like this. Me and my family, me and my wife, just gotta. I got. I gotta make a living, and I don't make a living doing this. And maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't following the proper procedures. Uh, I don't know, and and I'm not worried about it. I I keep getting comments to say, "Go company, go company." I, I'm walking away from it completely. I've already been offered a job down in Texas from, with my son-in-law, and I'm going to go down there and start my new adventure before I get too old where I can't. So I appreciate you guys out there the support and the backup on this. It, it, you know, it's difficult. Uh, you know, I, I it makes me feel bad because I don't like to give up on things, but. Uh, there was more negative revenue than there was positive revenue since I had this truck in, since I had the truck since April. And I don't blame anybody but myself for this. And uh, it just wasn't for me. It wasn't in the cards, per se. So, you know, I have nothing, nothing derogatory or nothing to say against Prime. Prime is an awesome company. Uh, they're good people. My fleet manager was just phenomenal with me. He helped me in times when I had crunches where I wasn't going to get anything. He was able to help me out and get revenue put on there for me. I mean, it just the way things fell in place, weather, truck, you know, downtime with the APU. And just the beginning, the whole, the whole thing, just the beginning just went south and it didn't, it didn't, it didn't progress, you know. So it was struggled. In other words, we struggled to survive. And uh, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to put stress on my wife like that or, or myself anymore. It's stressful as it is driving with these uh, these morons out here who don't know how to freaking drive. 
it's just something that I'm not going to put up with. So anyway, enough said about that. I hope everybody enjoys their day. Today is the last day of the year 2020. Thank God. I mean, this year has been unbelievable between the freaking epidemic and the <coughs> all the different stuff, you know, went through my training this year. So it's something to look back on, you know, all the training I went in to become a truck driver and finally getting the truck and then finally getting running all summer and now we're in the winter months, you know, and now we got to be a little bit more cautious, you know, but all in all, you know, it was pretty interesting year. Hopefully 2021 will bring in a better perspective of everything. So, but anyway, guys, all, and I'm, I'm going to keep iterating this. This channel will not stop. I guarantee you it will not stop. I'll record something either one or two, like I do now, once or twice, you know, three times a week if everything works out right and let you see a different aspect of a new life. I hope I keep all my subscribers. I hope they stay with me. I've got a video library right now beginning back in a year ago, over a year ago now, and chronologizing my, my, my career, my beginning of my life till now, and hopefully we keep that going and, and uh, we'll start something new and see how that pans out. It'll be a different life, that's for sure. So, But anyway, just wanted to talk to you a few minutes. I didn't want to get, get make this long. I uh, hope everybody enjoys their new year. Happy New Year to everybody out there. Uh, looks like I'll probably be at a TA down somewhere in Virginia. I guess celebrating the New Year there. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get a load or not. Probably not because I'll be delivering late this afternoon and most of the places will be shut down. So I probably won't get a load till probably Saturday more than likely. I'll be shut down tomorrow too. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get a 34 in maybe. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, y'all be safe out there. Take care. Always continue to remember. I, I, I appreciate you guys, your subscribers, uh, you know, the comments you've done over this past year. And I thank each and every one of you always. And I hope you guys I will have a good new year. And I'll talk to you next year probably. All right. Y'all be safe. Take care. All right. Always continue to remember. We keep driving and always striving for perfection. All right. Y'all have a good time. Bye now.